Welcome back. Today I'd like to show you a few Stampin' Up! techniques to make your stamping even more fun. And I'm going to start with some embossing. I'm going to show you today how to make this tree on this Christmas card. Embossing powder is an inexpensive and fun thing you can do on your cards. I have a heat tool that you can get from the Stampin' Up! catalog. Or if you have a toaster oven, you can just hold it under the element, but you need to get this hot for it to work. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. This is the Versa marker, the Versa mark, and it's like a watermark stamp pad. There's a lot of things you can do with it, and I'll show you a few of them, but first of all I'll show you how to do this tree. I'm going to take my Christmas tree from the Season of Joy stamp set. I'm going to ink it up real good. It's clear and sticky. And get, make sure you have good coverage. I'm going to stamp it on my paper. And you can kind of see there that it has made a clear image. I'm going to put, place this in my embossing tray. You can do it on paper. You don't have to have the fancy stuff here, but it does help. It's nice. Then take your, I'm going to take my Silva, Sterling Silva Emboss Powder. Just sprinkle that on top. This uh, Emboss Buddy makes it, palette makes it easy for cleanup. And there we have our tree. And what we need to do next is add the heat. Apply some heat. I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! heat tool. And just watch, because you don't want to do it for too long, so when you see the silver start to pop, then it's good. And you can kind of see that happening there. If you do it for too long, it kind of uh, melts into the paper. And there we have our tree, and we can then cut it and put it on our, mount it on our crumb cake, that's crumb cake, and then mount it on our other cardstock. And that is just a fun embellishment thing that you can do. Emboss powder. Now another thing that you can do with the Visamark is just use it to make a watermark on your, on your paper. Alright, so then we're going to take well, just another piece of the wild wasabi from the Subtles group, and I'm going to just ink on some Visamark. To create, this is just going to create a subtle background look on here. And that's, that's it. Can you see that? So it's a neat way to just add more dimension. The other thing that you can do with the Visamark is you can stamp an image. And just to show you, I'm going to use the little snowflake. I'm going to stamp it on my white here. I'm going to show you, you can use it for pastels. Alright, so these are the Stampin' Pastels, and mine are the older ones. They come in a longer thing now, and um, they look a little different, but it's the same thing. I'm going to open these up and take the little sponge thing, and this is going to pick up the color, and I'm just going to choose this blue right here, and just dab it on there, and it's so the verse mark is sticky and it will pick up that chalk and make it just kind of pop. That's another thing you can do with the verse marker. Verse mark. Get that on all the way around. And then you have an image ready to put on a card. 
So there's a lot you can do with a verse mark. Okay, something else I want to show you today real quick. Is the stamp in the jig right here? And some of you have wondered, how can you get your letters to line up or your words? You know, you want them to come out straight. And two-step two step stamps, um, you know, you want them to line up. So this is how you do that. This is a stamp in the jig. This is the imaging sheet. One side is kind of rough and the other side is smooth. You want to use the smooth side for the classic ink. And this is, you place it right here. And then you put this down here in the corner. You take your stamp, I'll use the Merry Christmas, that you want to put onto your card. And you ink it up. I'm going to try to do this upside down here so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'm doing this upside down so that you can see it. I'm going to ink my Merry Christmas. Make sure that's inked good. Then slide it down in this corner and stamp on the plastic sheet. Now you know exactly where this is going to go when you line it up. So we're going to take, um, let's just do it on this white. I want to just put it here and I just want it to be straight. So I'm going to go ahead and do it upside down again so that you can see what I'm doing. So you can see this image and you can put it exactly where you want. Line this up, hold it, now this time remove the plastic and go ahead and make sure your stamp is inked and you can bring it down again in that corner and it will be lined up exactly how you want it to be. So the stamp in the jig is really useful for two-step stamps, words, anything that you definitely want straight on your card. Another fun tool that you will want to have eventually are the blender pens. These are good for so many things. I'm going to just demonstrate a few of the things that you can do with blender pens. What they are is basically a water color, instead of using a like a paintbrush, it's just like a water color kind of a, it's a clear um, pen. So I'm going to show you how, what you can do with that. And I'm going to go ahead and take um, the hydrangea from the Because I Care set and put it on my clear mount. And I'm going to take my Perfect Plum and Wild Wasabi. The nice thing with the spots is that you can, you can't do this so well with the big pads, but you can take them and put them on just the part that you want inked. So I can do the flower head purple and the stem green. And there we have it. You can also get markers in each of the same colors um, that do the same thing. You can mark on your stamp and stamp that way if you want to do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp my image. And it's pretty. There's a pretty hydrangea there, but we're going to just make that color, just spread that color in the flower and in the leaf with our blender pen. So I'm going to take take it and just run it over the image there. You know, it's a nice way to just spread that color. Okay. Then when you want to use a different color, you can just wipe off so you see no more. I'm going to go into my green. 
Now that's very subtle. If you want to add a little bit more, you can go ahead and dip it in to your ink pad and pick up the color that way. And so that's another way that you can color. Dip it in. It picks up the color. You can add it. The other thing that you can do with the blender pens is take your Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils and I'll just show you quickly here. You can draw color with something and then you take your blender pen. It's got some green on it still, so let's clean that off. And you can blend it together and it gives it this really like cool watercolor look. So that's another thing you can do with the blender pens. I'll just show you what that looks like right there. And that should do it for today. Thank you for listening and you can find me at www.sylvia.stampinup.net.